Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming on Cars. I'm doing a rare night review. I haven't done one of these since I had a similar car in my driveway uh, about a year ago when I had an Audi Q8, but I'm gonna put some more light on it. But I have as a loaner, this is a 2021 Audi A6. This is the midsize luxury sedan from Audi. This will compete with cars like the BMW uh, 5 Series and Mercedes uh, E-Class. As you can see, everybody's got all their Christmas lights out. Hope you and your family, you and yours are ready for the holidays, whatever that uh, holiday may be, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Anyway, this thing is hard to see. So this uh, A6 has a two liter four-cylinder turbo engine uh, same as my Q5 it has 248 horsepower 273 foot-pounds of torque now it's kind of funny I as much as a German car fan I am I've never done like the mid-size luxury sedan I have never driven like a base four-cylinder I say base loosely a base four-cylinder BMW 5 series or Mercedes E-Class so I have this as a loaner from Audi Mechanicsburg so let's talk about the Audi A6 cylinder starts out about $55,000 now this is a premium plus trim which is another about $4,000 plus there is the black optic package which I think is a must-have but this a four-cylinder mid-size Audi is $63,000 I just think that that price is I mean it's, it's typical of German cars but that is a lot of car or a lot of money for a car that only has a four-cylinder engine and I know I say only four-cylinder but it's funny when I was driving this I thought it had the six-cylinder the liter turbo six cylinder with about 335 horsepower so I just, it just felt different it just felt very smooth i'll go over that when i drive it but 63 grand is a lot of money for a four cylinder now the interior is beautiful and the styling of this car is very nice but just 63 grand is, is a lot of money for a four cylinder i almost think i would go the used route get a used six cylinder car for 55 to 60 because that power is, is more than enough for everyday commute you know, 335 horsepower. So all right, let's talk about styling. Styling of the A6. Now, I, I'm not gonna say the styling is boring, but I think it is pretty. It is pretty safe. Um, I will just say that. But Audi does a very good job with the LEDs. Now, if I take the key and I unlock it, you get to see the LEDs that come up. I mean, these are very sharp looking LEDs. Daytime running lights. Uh, they have the tick sort of L on the bottom plus that. Um, now I will say as a negative, I do not like the way Audi does the radar cruise control. This is these, you know, just black boxes right there. I just think it's sort of, I know this is a huge grill, but it just breaks up the, just the flow of the grill. I just don't like the way you look at it. I like the way BMW does it. They have it down low in the middle and one little thing right there. I, I've said this before on a couple Audis. I just don't care for how they do the, you know, radar cruise control just in the middle of the grill like that huge but this is a it's a pretty big car I mean I do like it does have the Audi the puddle lights which are pretty baller I love that now going back around this does have the big 20 inch wheels now this does have the black optic package which blacks out all the trim it's kind of hard to see there it's black right there this is a nice blue as well yeah there on the middle of the tail light it gets blue as well but this is definitely a sharp looking car. I just think it's, I don't know, it's a little safe as far as the styling goes. I think the interior design is a little bit bolder. There, you can see the blue very nicely. Also, we do have these sequential taillights. You can see that right there. Yeah, I don't know if they, they don't do a dance like the Q8 does. But yeah, I mean, this is their mid-size offering and this is a really big, it's a big car. Like I think the A4, which is the smaller of this, is like the perfect size for a, you know, executive type saloon. But I think as far as the styling goes, it's a pretty good looking car. I just think it's a little bit safe. There's nothing really, you know, that daring or, you know, out there 
with the design of the A6, but that's not a bad thing, you know. People don't always want crazy looking uh, cars right there. So, all right, let's take a look at the engine real quick. This is the engine of the A6. This is a familiar, same as my car, the two liter turbo four. It just looks just looks small in there. I know the, uh, the three liter V6, and also imagine this car with the RS6 Avance, you know, four liter. There's a two, a three, and a four liter option for uh, this car, but this uh, sedan doesn't have the big one. But yeah, um, it's still decently quick. I think something like six seconds to 60. I will say that the three liter turbo um, will go zero to 60 in something like 4.8 seconds. So it's substantially quicker, but of course it's gonna be for, you know, about 80 more horsepower. So yeah, this is uh, heart of the beast right there. Props to Audi for doing the hydraulic lifts. That is a nice touch. So yeah, not much to report. It's a familiar, you know, familial engine. Uh, for the Volkswagen Audi group. It's a great engine, it feels very smooth, and we're gonna test it out when we get it on the road. So uh, let's take a look at the trunk. I, I am enjoying looking at my Christmas lights as well, plus the laser. All right, so if you double click on the key, the trunk. Now I will say, I'm doing my research, the trunk of this is way bigger, or I'll just say is bigger than the BMW 5 Series and the E-Class. This is <laughs> absolutely huge. I mean, for a, I'll say mid-size sedan, even though it is, I think, way bigger than a mid-size sedan, that trunk is monstrous. Uh, shout out to Audi Mechanics work here. But anyway, yeah, you could fit, oh my God, three three golf clubs bags in here. I mean, that is huge. I mean, obviously you want it to be big, you know, to take control of all your luggage and stuff for your family. By the way, let's just let's just appreciate Audi LEDs right here. Like they're, they do some of the best lights. They're just very, very sharp looking. Let's just close this and take a look at the uh, lights. Yeah, that's just a sharp looking car. I like the little sort of hammer there with the little dashes. You know, when I did my Q8, they have a similar design language there. So yeah, as far as the design goes of the A6, a little bit safe, uh, but it's still an attractive looking car. So, all right, let's head on the inside. Checking out the inside of the A6, where this is definitely a interesting, an attractive looking interior. Now I will start it up for the start button right here. Yeah, I really do. Oh, thank you for that animation. Now I'm gonna turn the flash off so we can talk a little bit. Okay, so the design language here in the A6, it does have the dual screens like the Q8 has the bigger screen up top and the smaller screen below. As you can see the top screen where you control everything. There's the home button where you can go over everything. Uh, your radio navigation and the bottom screen here controls your HVAC controls. Um, I will say, after driving this car a little bit around tonight, I don't think I'm that crazy about the haptic touch controls. Like if when I hit this button, you hear a little click noise, ready? I mean, it, it's different than just a touch screen. You can swipe on the screen like this, but to, if I want to go back to the map, you got to click it almost like a, a map. Let's go back to that. Okay. No home adjust has been, okay, get out of here. I just almost prefer if it was just a touch screen. All right, I don't know what happened to my screen, but yeah, I just don't think I'm that crazy about the haptic feedback. I guess if I if I had this as my daily driver, it wouldn't be too bad. And I don't think this car has the um, ambient lighting, which I think is awesome. Um, but yeah, as far as the virtual cockpit goes, it's okay. Be quiet, thank you. You still have the. Uh, customizable dash right here. Kids Bop is listening to that and there's your phone. You can go di small dials, big dials. I still love the virtual cockpit. I think that is fantastic, but there's still lots of options. There's four different options of the main screen. You can go big and small for each. Um, let me just turn the flash back on. All right, checking out the back seat of the A6. Now I have the seat where I would sit and I mean, I'm not a tall guy. I'm six feet tall. Still have a couple inches of uh, leg room back here. Nice little cutouts in the seat for your legs. Um, a four cylinder A6. I feel like the six cylinder ones, okay, there is a, a screen here, it's not on, but you don't have any seated heat seats back here. No seat snakes. Um, yeah, this is decently big. Um, I think if you had a couple kids, it would be all right to fit them back here. There's a nice look of the uh, interior right there. So overall, not too bad. Same beautiful wood, same stitching back here. Um, so yeah, this is what you get for a mid-size sedan. You're gonna pay a lot of money, but you, this interior is very nice, very, very nice. I, I don't even know what the interior of like an A8 would look like. 
Uh, I guess you'd have more space in the back back here. But yeah, this is still a very nice uh, place to be. So, all right, let's wrap up this video and get this thing on the road. All right, so this is just a quick walk around review of a 2021 Audi A6. And I think uh, the one caveat with me, I mean, I'm not the target buyer for a car like this, but $63,000 for a four cylinder seems a little steep as my in my eyes. And you're not really, you know, you're paying for the nice size of the midsize variant but just i'd get a used six cylinder for 55 60 grand and call it a day i think that car a little extra added grunt with the motor would definitely be nicer but the interior design is beautiful the outside is a little bit more on the safe side but i think it is still a decent car i mean german cars you can't go wrong i think the bmw and the audi and mercedes are all fantastic cars it really just comes down to what you would like as features so big thank you to Audi Mechanicsburg for the access to this car. It is a loaner. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gaming D on Cars uh, on TikTok as well. I uh, hope you have a wonderful family uh, holiday coming up soon. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.